To the roundabout stop. I think there's magic in the air today. What do you think, Rosie? I'm sure there is, Mr. John. When there's magic in the air, anything can happen. Listen. When there's magic in the air and your skin is all a tingle, the fairies leave their underworld and come to earth to mingle. Wishes are all granted and dreams will all come true. Fantasies and fairy tales will happen just for you. When there's magic in the air, your teddy bear might talk, and all your toys will want to meet and go out for a walk. Dragons that have slept so long, for a thousand years or more, will wake and fly through wind and rain to knock upon your door. Mr. Mr. Johnny, we're here! It's Poppy, Peggy and Y come for their rides. I'll see you at the ticket booth. Mr. Jolly was probably thinking about his dinner. Mm. Uh, he was probably thinking about what sort of adventures he should give us today. Oh, should we ask him? Mm. Hello, you three. Hello, Hello. Mr. Hello. Jolly. Was it sardine sandwiches? I'm sorry, Poppy. Was what sardine sandwiches? But P Poppy thinks you were deep in thought about your dinner, Mr. Jolly. Oh, no, why? I was just thinking that there's magic in the air. <gasps> Does that mean we're in for some magical rides today, Mr. Jolly? I certainly hope so, Peggy. <laughs> Rosie the Roundabout is now open. The most magnificent magical merry-go-round imaginable. Have we got a ride in store for you? Ooh. But, first things first... Tickets! Tickets! Round tickets, square tickets, shapes that you know. Take one and dream of the places you'll go, and maybe we'll find a song that you know. Oh, may I have the diamond, please, Mr. Jolly? Oh, Peggy! Thank you. Hey, could I have the arch, please, Mr. Jolly? The arch? There you go. Why? Today is rectangle day for me, Mr. Jolly. Then a rectangle you shall have, Poppy. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Jolly. Right, you've all got your tickets. Yes. It's time to climb aboard Rosie. Yes. Roll up, roll up. Come on inside. It's time for a magical roundabout ride. Roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around. Roll up and ride on Rosie. The magical, musical, merry-go-round. Come on and roll up and ride on Rosie. You'll feel as light as air. Roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll carry you here and there and anywhere in Rosie's marvelous musical world. Nothing is quite as it seems. Rosie goes round and round till you found someone or something who's straight from your dreams. So roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around. Roll up and ride on Rosie. The magical, musical, merry-go-round. You found out about a magic roundabout. I'm making a sound about this magical, musical, merry-go-round. Right, Peggy, you're first today. I hope the diamond's magical. <laughs> about magic in the air, but there is certainly a plenty of smoke around here. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, ah, 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 oh. oh, no, not again. Oh. Oh, what was that? Oh, sorry. Every time I sneeze, <coughs> I set everything alight. 
Oh. I'm a fire hazard. Oh, perhaps you should keep your distance then. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I'll keep away from you. You look uh, highly flammable to me. Oh. Uh, I don't blame you for not wanting me around. Everybody feels the same. Well, mm. how long have you been like this? Oh, um, not long. I've been having a bit of a nap for 3,000 years. And I woke up yesterday and I started to sneeze. I think I must have a chill. Oh, has this ever happened to you before? Uh, no, not that I can remember. Oh, oh dear. I'm so miserable. I, I don't want to go round setting everything on fire. <laughs> that's that's you! Oh, that's you! Oh, bless me. Oh. See what I mean? Oh. It must be a cold. Well, I'm not so sure. Have you done anything different this time from what you usually do when you wake up? No. Oh. I always do the same things when I wake up, whether I've been asleep for 3,000 years or 300 years. Well, mm. show me. Oh, all right, then. Well, this is what I do, see. This is the way I rub my eyes, rub my eyes, rub my eyes. This is the way I rub my eyes after my sleep in the morning. Mm. Anything else? This is the way I stretch my arms, stretch my arms, stretch my arms. This is the way I stretch my arms after my sleep in the morning. Mm. How do you make your toast? I breathe on it. Oh, <laughs> and next? Well, I go for a walk then. This is the way I go for a walk, go for a walk, go for a walk. This is the way I go for a walk after my sleep in the morning. Mm. Well, what do you see on your walk? Oh, you know, usual. Trees, clouds. Sky, stones, same every time I wake up. Oh, apart from these beautiful flowers, they haven't been here before. <laughs> Catbook, <laughs> you, fuck you! Oh, oh. bless me. Yeah. Mm, oh dear. What? That's it. What's it? You're allergic to the flowers. What's allergic? What well, the flowers make you sneeze. You're allergic to them. It's all right. Grandpa Jones is allergic to flowers as well. Lots of people are. It's called hay fever. Do you mean to say if I stay away from these flowers, I won't sneeze anymore? That's right. Oh, I'll take the flowers home for Mr. Jolly, and then they won't bother you anymore. Oh, thank you. Very glad, Peggy. <laughs> oh, look, Rosie. My shape is filled with a picture of a dragon. <laughs> What a lovely, friendly dragon. Thanks for the flowers, Peggy. And now it's turn for Poppy's adventure. Where do you think she'll go? Roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around. Roll up and ride on Rosie. The magical, musical, merry-go-round.
flowers. Thanks, Poppy. That was a magic adventure. So now we've got a dragon and some magic. Now it's Wise's turn. Come on and grow up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around. Grow up and ride on Rosie. The magical, musical, merry-go-round. To you. Oh, um, good morning. You're going somewhere special? Um, well, well, no, not particularly. But may I ask why you're swimming about in the middle of the sea? Oh, well, I was taking the early morning dip in the sea when this pirate came along and stole me entire ship and crew, left me stranded. Oh, I've been swimming around for ages. Oh, dear, that's dreadful. Would you like a lift? Oh, thank you. I'll just swim round to your aft. Okay. Oh, welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a very smart boat. Oh. <laughs> Snug but smart. Thank you. I'm Wybird. I'm Captain Crumb. Oh, hello, Captain Crumb. Huh? I must say, you look a bit soggy. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we headed then? Well, I, I was hoping to follow that pirate so I could get my ship back. Oh, well, which way did he go? To the coasts of the High Barbary. Are you ready, Why? Oh, that I am, Captain. Look ahead, look astern, look the weather and the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to lee. A sailing down all on the coast of High Barbary. Where exactly is High Barbary? Oh, away across the waters. Then back up your top sails and heave your vessel to Blow high, blow low, and so sail we For we have got some cargo to be carried home by you A sailing down all on the coast of High Barbary Oh, no, it's just down the road from New Barbary <laughs> We'll back up our top sails and heave our vessel to Blow high, blow low, and so sailed we. And there I spy me own ship, a wonderful sight to see. A sailing down all on the coast of High Barbary. Oh, thanks ever so much for the lift, why? No, I'm going to teach those pirates a lesson. <laughs> Well, I never. Oh, look! I've got a ship in my shape, Rosie. <laughs> ship shape. Blow up and ride on Rosie. Come on and see what we've found. We've had a ride on Rosie. The magical, musical, merry-go-round. Yes, I'm a magical, musical, merry-go-round. A dragon, some magic, and a boat with billowed sail. It's Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Paper, loved that rascal pup and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Together they would travel on a boat 
with bill old sail Jackie kept a lookout perch on Bob's gigantic tail Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came And pirate ships would lower their flags when Pop brought out his name Pop the magic dragon wings and giant rings make way for other toys one grey night it happened Jackie Paper came no more and for that mighty dragon he ceased his fearless roar his head was bent in sorrow green scales fell like rain Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu, but the magic dragon went by the sea, and from it in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. <sighs> that was sad, Mr. Jolly. I know, Peggy, but I'm sure Puff found another friend to play with. Mm. Oh. oh. There's the bus bell. It's time for us to go. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, <laughs> you three. And don't forget to join us next time for another magical ride on Rosie. Bye. Bye.